All right, y'all, welcome back to Comet Arms Channel. Okay, so we haven't done a tier list in a while, and I said I wanted to do a camouflage tier list part two, and that is exactly what we're doing today. So we missed out on a few different patterns, mostly some patterns, some major patterns from some other countries, but I also wanna get into some more niche ones. Now, since it is getting to be winter soon, it's starting to get pretty cold here in Washington, I added a lot of snow camouflage patterns because I think snow camouflage patterns are like really, really interesting, especially when they're done right. But I've also never been able to wear, or I've never had to wear snow camouflage in a tactical environment. So maybe that's why it's a little bit more aesthetic when I see other people in other countries getting to do it so often. But yeah, we have a few sort of throwback camouflage patterns. We have some normal camouflage patterns. We have one that I absolutely despise and we'll keep that one towards the end. And uh, yeah, I also threw in some more like reference pictures just so you can kind of see what the camouflage pattern actually looks like on kits. I think you, you'd you be able to appreciate it a little bit more when you see it like that. But yeah, let's get into it. All right, so the first one, I'm not really too sure if this one had a whole lot of like legit operational experience, but this is the night desert camo or the, I think it's the desert night camo um, to be honest. But yeah, so it's basically like a sort of checker pattern or like a grid pattern with like some small marks behind it, which it looks pretty simple, but when you actually see it, it looks like it does a pretty good job at actually creating some depth. It's just, it's such a niche idea for a camouflage pattern, which I think why why it's so cool. You'll see it a lot on like Instagram, people will be making like jackets or hoodies or whatnot using this pattern. So it's getting to be a little bit overused as at least as far as Instagram is concerned. But again, it does have a pretty cool like random backstory. Again, I'm not sure how much usage it actually got, but again, it's such a niche thing. I think I've seen it as like a reversible, I think with like the other tricolor deserts on the other side, which makes a little bit more sense because obviously, I mean, you don't really know. You can plan, especially for a raid, you can plan that it's going to take a certain amount of time, but you don't want to be stuck wearing a night camouflage pattern when it's day. So I don't know, it's, it's interesting. Again, it is being used a lot nowadays on like Instagram and in like fashion and design and stuff, but I think it is pretty freaking cool. So. I'm gonna throw it at a solid A tier. It's nothing like legendary, but it does have like a really cool backstory and it looks pretty freaking sick when you actually see it on like proper gear. Okay, so the next one, this is going to be, I think this is Australia's old camouflage pattern. We have their newer camouflage pattern in this tier list, but yeah, this one, <laughs> This one is is just interesting. Now, when I look at this camouflage pattern, it just looks like a bunch of like bunny heads or like rabbit heads with the ears and stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what Australian foliage looks like per se. I just can't imagine it looks anything like this or for this to be that effective. Could be wrong, but I know for a fact Australia has changed their camouflage pattern since. So somebody else probably agreed with me. Yeah, I don't know. It, it looks very similar to like the frog skin camo from World War II, which we actually also have on this list. I mean, I can understand if the color palette makes sense, but again, even when you look at it, it's kind of like the M90 camouflage pattern, like the Swedish M90, where like even far away, it looks like an awkward pattern. Like it doesn't really break it up too much. It's called the disruptive pattern camouflage uniform. It's really weird order, but yeah, it's not that disruptive if I'm being... <laughs> If I'm being honest, I mean, when you actually look at it. So yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna have to throw this one pretty freaking low, I think. I'm gonna have to throw it, I think, at like a D. It's not like, it's not horrible, but it really doesn't look very good for a camouflage pattern. And I know I'm I'm upsetting some Aussies who kind of, you know, were bred and, and raised on this camouflage pattern. But I'll be honest, it doesn't look very good. Just like the uh, the Brits DPM pattern. Not a fan of it whatsoever. A lot of people will swear by it, um, but I, I mean, I don't think it looks very good. Of course, let me know your opinions down below because, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe you guys will, will think the same as me. But the Australian multicam camo uniform, again, these names are just terrible, but the new Australian camouflage pattern keeps the palette, like the color palette, pretty much the same, but it looks a lot better. Like, it, obviously, you don't have these weird, like, bunny formations that are just kind of like, jarring to look at and don't look very natural at all and then it turns it into this which looks very similar to like a multicam which I, I that's the australian multicam so i wonder if there's a difference between this and the multicam tropic because to be honest they look exactly the same of course i know australia is not really tropical but okay so let's see maybe i'm uh i think i'm actually pretty wrong on that one okay yeah um 
honestly, multicam tropic is, is pretty freaking cool. Um, I don't know where it would work. I mean, I guess the tropics, uh, maybe like Hawaii or something, but I don't, I don't really know. Okay. So not, not really that close. So I don't know. I think the color palette color palette is pretty freaking sweet. I got to say, I like this one a lot better. And you can see even on gear, it looks like it makes a lot more sense as opposed to, as opposed to this. I mean, just try and stick them side by side. This just looks like an older camouflage pattern. Like our olds, um, like the chocolate chip cookie or whatever, desert camo, just looks kind of weird. Even the tricolor desert looks a little bit weird. Again, I think now we're moving into this more like digital sort of multicam kind of pattern. And I think it does a much better job at actually disrupting the pattern uh, of, you know, like your, your outline and what have you. So yeah, I think this is definitely going to be ranked a lot higher. So I'm going to put this one. It's really freaking sweet. Not going to lie. It's actually looking cooler and cooler the more I look at it, but I'm going to throw it at an A tier. Um, not necessarily an S. I, I think it has potential to be an S. Um, maybe by the end of this, it'll be at an S, but right now I think A is a pretty good spot for that. Okay. This next one, I'm probably going to upset a lot of people, but I have very strong opinions on this. This is the tiger stripe camo. And I mean, I guess it, it might be a love it or hate it kind of thing. I think it looks horrible. I mean, I don't know how many environments look like this. I mean, it looks like if a freaking volcano erupted into like a rainforest and it kind of like dried things out a little bit and also left like a little bit of ash and soot and you were kind of like looking at the landscape through binos, that's exactly what this looks like. And that's like a really odd description. Um, but I don't know how effective it was. It does have a pretty cool sort of like backstory. You have like all these super high speed people in Vietnam that were rocking it. Like, I don't know, probably like Rangers or Green Berets. I think this dude is actually a Green Beret, but it, it's got a very cool story. So it does have that lineage for sure. Um, but again, it, it just looks like absolute uh, dog shit <laughs> for, for lack of a better term, I'm being honest. Um, yeah, so again, I think some people will have some very strong opinions on this. For me personally, I, I'm not a fan. Uh, I think we have our op four, our opposing force in uh, the Marine Corps and Army, I think actually use this camouflage pattern, which I don't know why that is. I guess we might've had just like a surplus of it. But um, yeah, I don't think it's too effective at, at anything, to be honest. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this one. Hmm, I really don't like it at all. I'm gonna have to throw it at like an, uh, I'm going to throw it at a D. I would put it at an E, but it has a really cool story. Um, seeing these together looks kind of weird, but again, that kind of, this would be an E for me, but that backstory and the people that actually used it, pretty freaking high speed dudes. Okay. This next one, the frog skin. Hell yeah. So this is the pattern that the Marines were using in the Pacific, which uh, already the, the lineage right there is freaking badass. You will see this sort of camouflage pattern a lot on like, you know, modern clothing. Um, I, I guess it's kind of just one of those things. We're probably going to start seeing a lot of M80, M81 coming up, even like multicam. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's just one of those things. But this camouflage pattern I've seen a lot on sort of civilian clothing. But it it's pretty freaking cool. And it's one of the older camouflage patterns out there because you have to think even in World War II, not a lot of people were actually rocking camouflage. Um, normally you just see it like, like you see it on these Marines here, just kind of on their, their helmets as a helmet cover. But I got to say the lineage is fantastic. It looks pretty cool. It doesn't look as goofy as like the bunny head freaking Aussie camo we have down here. Um, and of course, you know, coming from someone who is in the Marine Corps, I need to throw this one at an S tier because you know, why not? Uh, it's it, the story, the lineage is just so freaking cool. Like I really... I wouldn't feel good putting this thing any lower than that, to be honest. It's just, it is absolutely legendary. I mean, just look at these badass pictures. Every time you see a badass picture of a Marine in the Pacific and you see that camouflage pattern, again, it just cements my feeling towards it. It's just, it's so cool. I mean, it doesn't look like the best, but it worked. It worked pretty freaking well. And you can see it actually matches pretty well with their environments. And again, just the, the aesthetics of it being on these badass World War II freaking heroes yeah, it's going to it's gonna have to go at an S for sure. Okay, moving on to something that we haven't checked out. It's the, the CAD pad. This is actually the, the new Canadian um, disruptive Canadian disruptive pattern. Yeah, so CAD, CAD pads MT. I'm not sure what the 
MT multi-terrain or something. Um, so this is actually the new Canadian camouflage. I'm not sure if it's even like being fielded that much yet. Um, but yeah, you can see, again, a lot of countries are still sticking to that sort of digital pattern and it, it works pretty well. So we have a picture here of it and I think it does, I mean, it, it works pretty well, but you can kind of see like how the digital design is getting phased out with a lot of people. And I think that's for a reason. I mean, you just like these little pockets of these different colors just stand out a little bit more. I think that now that it's like a digital pattern, but yeah, this, this I think is definitely a, a decent improvement over the old Canadian pattern. Um, I guess it also depends on the actual terrain, but yeah, it's, it's interesting. I would say it's probably very similar to Marpat, um, but I think Woodland Marpat just looks a lot better. Um, this might work a little bit better for Canada since maybe it's a little bit drier. It is like the newer camouflage pattern, but it's still not that cool. So, mm, I don't know, Canada. I mean, they do have like the, the maple leaf kind of built into their pattern, which is kind of cool. We actually had that with our Marpat, the Marine Corps pattern. It You had like the Eagle Globe and Anchor kind of like just hidden in there, which is kind of cool. It's kind of cool when you have the pattern, you can, you can look for that when you're bored, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's really nothing special. I think it's just going to have to go out of sea. It, it's not impressive whatsoever. And not going to lie, I'm getting, I'm kind of over these digital patterns. I think a lot of people are as well. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It, it's, it's new. So there's that. It's got a maple leaf on it. It's kind of cool. I think it would have been better if they just had a little, bunch of little like maple leaves in different colors. <laughs> Yo, actually, now that I'm looking at it, I think this is worse than the old cat pat. I mean, that like looks pretty good for their environments. I mean, most of Canada, at least from what I've seen, looks very similar to here in Washington, the Pacific Northwest, obviously, because we're so close to Canada. Um, but yeah, maybe this is better, more suitable for most of the terrain or most of the terrain in other places. Um, but honestly, I mean, maybe it's because this dude has fantastic hair, sunglasses, and a fantastic beard. But <laughs> I think he's he's killing that old cat pat a little bit better, if I'm being honest. Okay, and they also have a cat pat arid, which is basically their their desert camo. Okay, that that makes a lot of sense. I think it looks pretty decent. That's that's definitely on par with our our mar pat desert camo. Okay, so a lot of cat pats. And we are going to be moving on to some more cat pat, but now we're gonna be moving into some of the winter or snow camouflage patterns. So this is the, and this is the best image I could find for, for this, but we're going into the cat pats, uh, W-O, uh, I'm not sure what that stands for, winter operations or something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Of course, when you see it like this all blown up, it's going to look like shit because I mean, it's snow camo. There's not, you don't need to get that crazy with snow camo. I mean, even if you just had like flat white, you'd probably be doing, you know, okay. <laughs> but yeah, when you actually see it on, it looks like it does a pretty good job. Of course, you need to consider that they're not just going to be, you know, usually chilling on these, you know, just flat, white, open landscapes. There's probably going to be some trees or foliage around um, where you might get some more of these shadows, which is kind of why these, um, you know, these shaded areas come into play. So yeah, I think it looks cool. I think it's a decent introduction to our snow camo um, because again, it just looks aesthetic. When you have the snow camo with the skis, it looks pretty freaking cool. So I'm going to have to throw this one. Hmm, it, it's pretty cool. I'm going to give it a B. I, I would put it a little bit higher just because, you know, I think snow camo is a lot cooler in general, but we have some other ones that I think are going to be a little bit better, to be honest. So Cat Pat's uh, W-O, Cat Pat Winter, basically. Yeah, it's gonna be going a little bit higher. Okay, now we're gonna be going on to the MO5 Woodland. Um, it, it looks very, <laughs> very similar to the, again, you're not gonna get like so much of a difference, but when you actually see it, I think it looks pretty freaking sweet. Like whenever I see the, the MO5 Winter or the MO5 Snow, I'm not sure what it, what it actually is. Whenever I see it, those guys are always like camouflaged super, super well. Actually, there's a picture I saw on Mighty Finland where it just looked like really, really good camouflage. Okay, so this one right here, yeah. So once you get, again, you get like the foliage and the trees and the shadows and stuff, it is a really freaking scary camouflage pattern. Again, like you would not want to just be looking around. Somebody actually tagged me in this. <laughs> what did I say? 
<laughs> there you go. <laughs> 34 weeks ago. Okay. Yeah. Again, when you look at this camouflage pattern, it, you can tell it just freaking works. And this is kind of just like a, a proof of concept right here. So I think because of that, it's definitely going to have to go a little bit higher. Um, and again, I think it's just, it, it's cool. And MO5, I'm a big fan of MO5 now. And the snow variant just makes it a little bit cooler now. So Mm, I'm definitely, I'm going to throw it in A. Uh, again, with that picture that I showed you, it looks really, really effective. But again, it, as a pattern in, in, in and of itself, there's not a whole lot special going on with it. And that's okay. I mean, it does its job very well. And, and that's all you really need from it, to be honest. Okay, so I thought this was really freaking cool. So this is like a prototype US Army snow overgarment. Now, the pattern in and of itself looks really freaking smooth. Like, like realistic shadows, not like, you know, no hard edges or whatnot, but at the same time with the overgarment, and I'm not sure how they did it. It's like just like a wrinkled coat or something. But again, that adds a lot more depth that, you know, you would see with like snow. If you're like in snow that was kind of like disturbed or whatnot, that's what it would look like. And over here we have the Marine Corps, like snow variants of Marpat. Doesn't look nearly as cool, to be honest. This is pretty freaking sweet. So if I got a, if I got a chance to rock this in the future, I'd be pretty freaking excited. But I saw this and I was like, man, that is badass. So again, I might be a little bit biased, but I'm going to throw that at an S tier for sure. Cause it just looks really, really cool. And I think adding like the depth of the actual garment itself, like, you know, the different like wrinkles or layers or what have you, I think that's a pretty smart idea. And we'll probably see very similar stuff. It's not necessarily like a ghillie suit, but you know, it's kind of taken in some of those factors, which is pretty dope. All right, and then next we have, uh, okay, this is a little bit out of order. I think I was kind of just color coding it, um, but this I think was actually France's World War II camouflage pattern, but we do have France's new camouflage pattern, which is BME, which is the Burialage Multi-Environment Camo. I, I think I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly, but this is basically like a French multicam. Um, yeah, even when you look at it, it's pretty much like multicam, which is, it's kind of cool, but it's also going to get kind of confusing when they all kind of look similar. I think the Australian multicam pattern looks pretty unique, but then you have multicam, you have the army's OCP, which is, yeah, just a worse multicam, a knockoff, literally a knockoff multicam. And then you have like the Brits MTP, but yeah, then you have this, the, the BME, which I think is an improvement over their old camouflage pattern, to be honest but it's nothing too special, but I think it does a pretty good job at what it is. So I'm gonna throw it at a B. Nothing special, kind of just like another multicam, so it's not that interesting, um, but I don't think it's as cool as like Australian multicam, to be honest, because that's a little bit more unique, I guess. <laughs> okay, now last and certainly least is Cryptek, because oh my gosh, it's just, it is horrible. Whenever I see anybody wearing Cryptek, and it's no fault of them, I, I think I literally just get personally offended whenever I see this camouflage pattern. I immediately lose a little bit of respect for them. Even if they're just like, even if they're like my best bud and they're like out in town wearing like a hat or something that's Cryptek, it, I just, um, I, I can't, I, <laughs> I don't even, I don't understand why I dislike it so much. It's like, it could be a decent camouflage pattern, but, like maybe if I was laying in a bed of snakes or if I was like hiding on a dragon or something, the scale is like the weird scale pattern. Like if you were going to hydro dip your high point pistol, this is the camouflage pattern you should choose. Like absolutely. And I think it would look perfect on that. <laughs> I just, I don't like it. And you can't convince me otherwise. You really can't. So this one is absolutely going to have to go straight into the bin. It's just, it's terrible. I mean, yeah, look at that. You guys already know I only break out the trash can for like stuff I'm very, very passionately against. We put the UCP pattern in here because it's just, it was terribly ineffective. But this is just something else. It's just, it looks, it looks awful. And, and you can't convince me that it's actually a credible camouflage pattern whatsoever. And then I have a few examples <laughs> that I pulled. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Okay, let's throw this one a little bit higher so you guys can so you guys can really appreciate it. Oh my gosh. And I'm I'm not like crapping on these guys. I mean they're airsofters. I have way cringier pictures as an airsofter. I'm gonna go ahead and say that right now. But again, just look at it. It's terrible. It 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 literally looks like like a, a snake just shed all over your uniform or something. 
I don't understand it. And then you got like the, the cryptic rap and then the freaking balaclava or whatever. Uh, like you, you physically, I'm pretty sure you physically cannot wear this without having one of those like Molon lob or whatever, those Spartan helmets to come with it. I, I think it's physically impossible to separate those two. Um, because you'll, you'll absolutely, I think the Cryptek logo actually has a Spartan helmet in it. Yeah. So <laughs> here we go. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the Spartan aesthetic. I mean, Spartans are pretty cool warriors. Um, but I think that the Spartan helmet logos is very quickly becoming like the Punisher skull 2.0, if I'm being honest. But I mean, just try and picture like a tier one operator rocking this camouflage pattern. Unless there's like a really solid brand deal, which I, you know I'm sure has happened at some point. Yeah, but that is basically our our ranking there. So I think yeah, the the frog skin is pretty freaking iconic. That new snow camo looks like a vibe. It's definitely something that I'd like to check out. If I had that for a video, that would be pretty freaking sweet. I'm sure I could just make my own to be honest. But that's something you would imagine like the white death wearing or something. The desert night camo, pretty freaking cool. Uh, pretty aesthetic for sure. Cool vibes, cool background. The the multicam for Australia. I gotta say, the, the color palette is really, really growing on me. Again, I really wanna put it into S, but I think it's gonna stay there. Snow MO5, pretty freaking dope. We already saw how effective that was. And then we have like the cad pads and we have the, uh, the French camo. It's all right. Um, but yeah, Tiger Stripe, not a fan. And then we have the... Uh, the bunny head camo. I, I gotta, I gotta wonder, is there like a nickname for this in Australia? Because I mean, I can't think of many good names for this one, to be honest. That's basically the ranking. Um, of course you guys will absolutely disagree with me and that's totally fine. I'm very opinionated when it comes to camouflage for whatever reason. Um, I think I, I can very much appreciate how effective camouflage patterns can be in certain environments. And it is really nice when you see like a camouflage pattern that just works like, like traditional MO5 just works fantastically. Even like Marpat Woodland works really well. Um, but yeah, I, I really appreciate camouflage. Um, but again, when I see stuff like freaking Cryptek over here, yeah, it's, it, it, yeah, it belongs in the trash. It should not be worn in any real sort of environment or for any like circumstances outside of hunting or airsoft. Now, if you guys have any interesting stories associated with these camouflage patterns, maybe like how they were introduced or, you know, where they were used, who used them, definitely throw them down below in the comments because that'd be pretty cool. Like kind of like a, a history lesson, but at the same time, you can also appreciate the legacy of the camouflage pattern because again, some of these like tiger stripe and, you know, the desert, freaking night camo, you'll see them kind of overused a little bit in, in some regards, as far as like maybe fashion or kind of like the, again, the tactical Instagram operators, which I mean, I, I have fallen prey to that sort of persona before, but let me know if you guys have any cool stories. We had some cool stories associated with the other ones that we did in the previous tier list, but yeah, let me know. Of course, I have some hot takes with these tier lists and I know you guys are definitely going to disagree with certain things, but I think that's why it's interesting to watch these tier list videos to kind of see where everything is getting ranked by the person. But if you guys have any other ideas for tier lists, definitely recommend them down below because they're always fun to do. And I, again, I have some pretty strong opinions on things for whatever reason. Again, Cryptek, I can't tell you why I dislike it. It's just one of those things. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up, comment, subscribe for sure. And uh, yeah, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one.